Tonight, Iraq is reporting that one of the most wanted terrorists in the world is dead. Izzat Ibrahim al Duri was Saddam Hussein's number two, the king of clubs in the U.S. military's deck of Iraqi fugitives. After the U.S. invasion toppled Saddam, al Duri became the leader of a Sunni insurgency that bedeviled American troops and presidents for a dozen years. David Martin at the Pentagon has more about him. Al Duri was the biggest one that got away, the only one of Saddam's henchmen to elude American troops during the eight and a half year occupation of Iraq. Now, Iraqi officials say their troops have killed a man with Al Duri's distinctive red hair and mustache. In an operation east of Saddam's hometown of Tikrit, which was retaken from ISIS earlier this month. But it's not the first time Al Duri has been reported killed or captured, and DNA tests have not been completed. On paper, Al Duri was the vice commander of Saddam's Revolutionary Command Council. More importantly, he was his confidant, and as such bears responsibility for some of the regime's worst atrocities, including the infamous gassing of an entire village of Kurdish peasants. He melted away after the fall of Baghdad in 2003 and was reported to be living in Syria. But four months after the U.S. withdrawal in 2011, he resurfaced in Iraq, appearing in videos like this one as the head of a group of Saddam-era officers calling for the overthrow of the Iraqi government. They have served as mid-level commanders in the insurgency led by ISIS, and their organizational skills may have helped ISIS seize and hold ground. But U.S. officials say it is strictly a marriage of convenience since al Duri and his followers want Iraq for themselves and do not share the religious fanaticism of ISIS. Still, his name alone would have been a drawing card for other survivors of the regime to join the cause. If confirmed, the death of al Duri would be a major propaganda victory for the Iraqi government, but not a lasting blow to ISIS. Scott? The analysis of David Martin at the Pentagon tonight. David, thanks very much.